Now over here, we need to do linear optimization. So the, there are two types of problems. We will do a first problem over here. They have given an equation. You need to find the maximum and minimum value. These are the constraints. Now this is not difficult. It's easy, but it takes a lot of time. That's the problem. But anyways, now let's see. You need to graph or you need to understand the basics of graph. Without understanding where the line falls, you won't be able to solve. So let me solve this first. So best method is point slope form, point slope method. So let me get this into point slope. Now, the first equation is having y and x. All the others are just having y or x, so it's simple. Leave them, only this one. Get in terms of y equals mx plus b. So what do we do? y leave it over here equals x to the other side will be minus 2x plus b is 18. The This less than or equal to, you can just make it as equal to for now. That means 18, see the y intercept is 18, somewhere over here, if 18 is over here, then negative 2x, the slope is negative, so it goes down, if it was positive, it will go up, sorry, it will go upwards, down is negative slope. So it's something like this. Okay. Now, what is the other things? They have told y is less than. So let me tell you one thing. If I have a straight line, that is for x, greater than would mean right side, less than would mean left side. Left is less, right is great. Now, if I have a flat line, horizontal line, greater would be up, less would be down. Now, if I have a slanted line, say for example, over here, y is less than or equal to minus 2x. So this over here, less would mean down. See, touch this point, it should go down. This side is the solution region. If it was greater over here, it would be upwards. So these are a few basic things to understand. I'm sure most of you know this already. Now, y is equal to 6 so this was 18 so 6 would be this is 9 somewhere over here i'll draw a straight line y is equal to 6 and y is equal to 0 now here the solution is less than 6 so anything inside this and greater than 0 same way y is less than 8 and greater than 0 so see the thing is i've not drawn this graph properly so let me just I know for sure 0 is over here. This It's not going to touch this line. And greater than 0. So x would be somewhere over here. Okay. And y over here is less than or equal to. So this is the solution region. Everything within this. So this would be the final solution region. Some, some so much over here. Let's just check the exact one. Yes, it is somewhat right. You can see this, 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 and this. So now, this is the approximate to understand. This you can just get in two minutes, you know. Once you practice few problems, you will be able to understand only one of this equation. See, in all the problems, only one of this needs to be solved in the slope-intercept form and understand where it's going. Because in my method now, which I'm telling, I'm not teaching the long method. This is a short method. This much is enough, understanding the basics of the graphs. Now, you know from this basic understanding that this particular line will be touching two points. That is, this flat line, that is the 6, y is equal to 6, and x is, a, is less than 8. So, it's going to touch this and this. So, these two lines are being touched. Now, the most important thing is you need to find all the endpoints of the solution region. So, the solution region is over here. The endpoints, so one is over here, 0 and 0. One more is this point, that is 0, 6. One more would be 0, 8. And these two points. Now, I don't know these two points. Without graphing exactly and accurately, I won't be able to deduce these points. But I will tell you an easy method. Now, since we know from the basic understanding of graphs that this particular line will touch 6 and 8, that is from here, I know it's going to touch this y is equal to 6 and y is equal to 8. It may even touch over here, but just start with these two lines, the bigger lines, not the 0, 0. Now, put, 
Okay, let me just keep that. Take out your calculator. You can you can solve the x and y points using mode phi and one. You need to solve simultaneous equations, two simultaneous equations. That's mode phi. Look over here. The first value must be x, second must be y, and then the right side of equal to must be the number. So let's solve the first equations. What is the coefficient of x over here? That's one. Coefficient of x is 2, coefficient of y is 1, and the number is 18. Let me take the second. What is the coefficient of x? There's nothing, so it's 0. Coefficient of y is 1, and lastly it's 6. So, when you press equal to, you're going to get the endpoint 6, 6. So this is one endpoint over here, I believe. Yes, it's six comma six. And what about the other endpoint? We came from this basic graph that it's going to touch the x at eight. So the first equation remains same. X is two. The coefficient of x is two. Y is one. Eighteen. The x value over here is eight. Sorry, I'm I'm sorry. It's not eight. It's one y value is 0 and over here the coefficient is 8. In the last one, x was 0, y was 1 and the number was 6. Over here it changes. And now x is 8 and y is 2. So 8 comma 2. So this is the thing. Now from this point over here, these are the only, let me draw it in black, only these two are the points which is hard to find. Whereas all the other endpoints, this we know, y value is 6, so it is 0, 6. Okay, this is one endpoint. Center is 0, 0. This is the beginning point. Over here it is x is 8, 0. Y. But the other two points can be found out by calculator. Let's see. Let's just compare. Say 0, 0, 8, 2, 0, 6, 8, 0, and lastly 6, 6. This is the way you can easily solve it up. And now, once you know all the endpoints over here, just put the x and y values in this equation and find which is the maximum value. So what you do is, this is the x value, right? Put instead of x as 0 and instead of y as 0 and solve. The answer is 0. Next, put x as 8, 4 into 8 plus y is 2, so 2 into 2 and solve it up. I think so. It's done over here. You can see all the endpoints needs to be substituted in the given function. And now you can see there are two maximum values and one minimum. So now, see which are the maximum values. See, the maximum values are these two points, isn't it? So it's 8, 2, that's over here, and 6, 6. So whenever, whenever, you can directly, uh, by hard this, whenever it's on the particular line, which, which is the slanting line, if the maximum value is on this line, that means all of this region is going to be maximum. That means all of this region. You can try some other point and put it in this equation, you will get 36 as the answer. So the final answer would be, see this is the thing, right? The maximum is, the maximum value is 36 at which on every point on this particular equation, that's this line, y plus 2x equals 18, from 6 to 8 is in this particular graph in the solution region. Why? Because this was 6, 6 comma 6, right? x value was 6 and this was 8. From 6 to 8, in this particular line, all the points are the solution region. This is how we basically solve it up. Even the other ones are same. Only one will be unknown. Like, I mean, x and y, and then all the others are very easy. So, just draw a basic graph. Okay, draw a basic graph. This will be, again, it will be slanting. It will be something like this. So, you need to use the equation. More phi 1. And x is 1. Y is 2 number is 16 and what about this x is 0 over here y is 1 and the number is 2 constant is 2 x is 12 and y is 2 so that is where it touches so you need to use that as endpoints and similarly but before that 
just make sure you draw this graph properly. So y greater than 2 and x greater than 3. So this would be the solution region, I believe. You need to draw this properly and then you need to solve it up, all the three endpoints. So if at all you get confused by this method, just make sure if you're not able to find the endpoints, make sure you graph it properly. I'm sure by now you know graphing. Graph all these equations, graph all these equations. Only one is the difficult, these are just straight lines. Y less than three, it's a very easy. When Y is there, just a straight line. Where X is four, just a straight line. It's very, very easy to draw these. Only one equation will be difficult. You need to write it in terms of y is equal to mx plus b and graph it. You can make the table and graph or however you like. So that's the thing over here. Check, do it by yourself and check the answers. You can find it out easily. And then over here, the graph displays the constraints. Now over here, a graph is given and they're asking which of this is wrong. Let's quickly see this y is greater than or equal to zero the shaded region is the solution so y is greater than or equal to zero is correct yes y is greater than or equal to x sorry y is greater than or equal to zero this is the one okay yes solution region is the right side correct x is greater than or equal to zero yes okay. again no sorry i'll just make it proper y is greater than or equal to zero that means let me draw it another color y point is over here draw a straight line and draw arrow up yes this is correct now next x is greater than or equal to zero draw a straight line right is the solution region at the right side yes this is also correct now over here let me just uh, take this y to the other side it will be x less than or equal to y or it's much easier to write y first y is greater than or equal to x so now y is equal to x is this particular line it's a slant line now y is greater than or equal to x is it greater than no this is wrong whereas let's see x will be greater than or equal to y or y is less than or equal to x so this is correct y is greater than or equal to x it should go down not up so the wrong one which does not belong to the constraint is this option c so option c cannot be one of the constraint all the others are within the solution only this particular option which says the shaded region must be upwards which is wrong is downwards